Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and the eighth video in the Bolt Action Basics series. In this video, we're going to be looking at a crucial aspect in using your troops and vehicles in games of Bolt Action, movement. Without movement, games of Bolt Action or any other game will be pretty difficult to play. This video will outline the basic core mechanics for moving both troops and vehicles in games of Bolt Action. So, let's start with infantry. You can issue two orders that will allow your troops to move, advance and run. If an advance order is assigned, the section can move up to six inches in any direction and can choose to fire at the end of their move if there is an enemy unit in range. While moving, the section can make any number of turns as long as they don't exceed the six inches of movement. The second order you can use is run. When a run order is assigned, the section can move up to 12 inches in any direction. Just like advance, it can make any number of turns as long as it doesn't exceed the 12 inches of movement. A unit that has used a run order cannot fire at the end of its move. Infantry sections can move through other friendly units, but must finish their move more than one inch away from the unit it moves through. In addition, units must always stay more than one inch away from other units. Various battlefield feats can also affect movement for infantry sections. Rough ground, such as forested areas, marshes, mud and rubble, can only be crossed using an advance order. This represents the difficult conditions underfoot as the section moves carefully. In addition to rough ground, infantry may come up against obstacles such as streams, walls and ditches. As with rough ground, sections may only cross an obstacle using an advance order. In certain scenarios, units can be kept off table at the start of a game, but are allowed to enter in subsequent game turns. An example of this is outflanking. When bringing a unit onto the table in this manner, an advance or run order must be assigned, but units cannot assault enemy units from this move. Units cannot move off or leave the table edge during the games, except in circumstances where they're allowed to leave as part of the mission or scenario. An example of this of this is Scenario 5 Top Secret from the Bolt Action Rulebook, where victory is achieved by taking the objective marker off the table. So with the basics of infantry movement covered, let's have a look at vehicle movement. As with infantry, vehicles can be moved by assigning them an advance or run order. The movement values are higher than that of infantry sections, as is their turn mechanics. Vehicles are separated into two types, tracked and wheeled. Let's look at how these work in games of bolt action. This is a Churchill tank and therefore it is deemed to be a tracked vehicle. If a tracked vehicle is issued an advance order, it can make a single move of 9 inches and is able to pivot once up to 90 degrees during this movement. As it has advanced, it also has an opportunity to fire if an enemy unit is in range at the end of its movement. Should the tank be assigned a run order, it will be able to make a single move of up to 18 inches, but cannot fire, turn or pivot. This is an Opal Blitz truck and deemed to be a wheeled vehicle. Should it be assigned an advance order, it can make a move of up to 12 inches and make two pivots during this move. Should it be equipped with a weapons upgrade, it could also choose to fire. If a wheeled vehicle is given a run order, it can move up to 24 inches and make one pivot of 90 degrees during this move. It cannot fire, if applicable, at the end of its run move as per the normal rules. Now half tracks such as this, when given an advance order, can move up to 9 inches as a tracked vehicle, but can make two turns or pivots as if it were a wheeled vehicle. At the end of its movement, it can choose to fire as normal. If a run order is assigned to a half track, it can move up to 18 inches the same as a track vehicle, but make one turn or pivot. As it's been issued a run order, it cannot fire. Vehicles can choose to reverse by moving up to half of its normal move rate of its advance. So, the Opal Blitz could reverse straight back up to six inches. As with infantry, movement rates and abilities can be affected by battlefield terrain. This is covered in more detail in the Bolt Action Rulebook. As with the rest of the Bolt Action Basic series, 
this is just a very brief overview of the movement mechanics. For further information, I would highly recommend picking up a copy of the main bolt action rulebook. If you have any comments or questions about this video, movements or rules in general, please leave them down below and I'll certainly respond to all comments and questions. But as always, thanks for watching, take care, may your dice roll well, and I'll catch you all in the next video. So, bye bye for now.